Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. Come at you with a sports collection update. Uh, rebuilding my childhood sports card collection. So, uh, this is like episode 5. Um, it's been a while. Really hadn't picked up anything until about the last uh, week and a half. Half ago, so, uh, didn't have the money at the time, so, uh, there probably won't be another episode for a while, too, after this, but I uh, figured I'd better give you guys some kind of an update here soon. Um, picked up some pretty nice stuff. Um, since the last couple episodes, I really didn't get any football in. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, show those off first for you football fans. Just trying to make sure everything's sorted out properly, alright. So, uh, first off, I picked up a bunch of 1968 Tops cards from CMC. Picked like nine or ten of them up. This guy just thought it had an interesting name. Ron Vanderkellen. Um, they're all listed as rookie cards, but they're, I don't believe they're rookie cards because some of these guys have been around for like six to eight, ten years. It's like, what? I don't think so. Well, this one might be uh, Randy Johnson. Not the Randy Johnson you're thinking of. So he was a pretty decent quarterback for the Falcons. Ken Willard, he was a good running back. Uh, these are all like 50 cents. So they're a good deal, and they're in pretty decent shape. Gary Garrison. Billy Ray Smith. His son did play, also. And uh, both of them were very good. Carl Kammerer. Might have got him TTM before, I'm not sure. Uh, this guy I definitely have Pat Richter. He was a pretty decent, uh, I think he was kicking record. What? He's an offensive end, which would have been basically like a tight end. And he also did punny. Oh, okay. Did not know that. I thought he was a defensive back. And then, uh, this one was fairly pricey. Got it for about $8. Uh, Craig Morton rookie card. From the 68 Tops, so. Uh, it was in. Well, it's got some point of wire, but it's in pretty good shape, so. Craig Morton, Broncos legend there. And then I picked up a few of the 1960 Tops football. And they're actually fairly affordable. It seems to be kind of like forgotten about. And uh, you can get some good prices on them. So I've got Charlie Connerly, I believe he's a Hall of Famer. Quarterback. Or I don't know if he is a Hall of Famer, he might have just been a good quarterback at one point. Uh, this guy is uh, Big Daddy Gene Lipscomb. Baltimore Colts. Uh, Hall of Famer World War II veteran, Y.A. Tittle. Got that for like $3. Hall of Famer for the Packers, Jim Taylor. I believe he wants like 20 bucks TTM now. Something like that. And then I uh, picked up this 1951 Topps Magic of John Bright. I just thought the card looked really cool. From the Georgia Bulldogs, it looks like. Here's the back if you want to see this. Drake University Bulldogs? I don't know if that's what that says. So, uh, I've never seen that card before. I thought it was cool. And the rest of these are going to be baseball. Of course, uh, I am figured I, I better at least buy a rookie card to say I got one of this guy. He's doing absolutely amazing this year. Aaron Judge. So I bought a 2015 Bowman rookie. It's not officially, officially his rookie. It's real rookies from 2013, but... Uh, that was a decent price I got it. And I also got Andrew Benatendi rookie card coming. Then got this 1952 Tops George Zuverink. I don't know. This was pretty cheap. It was on sale. A lot of these cards are on sale, so I bought them. Uh, my second oldest card. Card's not in good shape at all by any means, but uh, it was quite cheap for, you know, as old as it is. 1934 Gaudi Cy Blanton. The oldest card is 1933, so by one year it's the second oldest. Then, uh, of course, this guy, I don't know how he's not in the Hall of Fame for what he did in, not only in the Negro Leagues, but uh, in the Majors. Don Newcomb, terrific pitcher. 
and I thought this card looked really nice so I picked that up for a good price and I believe this guy was also in the Negro Leagues 2 at one point uh, Lenny Green also on a 58 tops and another 58 tops this is Danny's All-Stars Danny Martov and then you got uh, Frank Thomas and Ted Kozuski. I thought that was really cool. Really cool looking card. And you got another 1952 tops. Don Mueller. He was a pretty decent player. Has a crease down here, but it was a good price. Uh, I'm kind of just, you know, if I like the card, I'll buy it. As long as it doesn't look too bad. Uh, I believe this guy was the inspiration for uh, uh, the natural the movie the natural with Robert Redford Eddie Waitkiss if I remember right I believe this is the card um, that he had his rookie card and then uh, picked up a 57 tops Sammy White 57 is always a nice nice card Uh, never owned a card of this guy, Bob Gibson. Has a crease here, but other than that, it's you know, some corner issues, but that's alright. Another 57 here, Sherm Lawler. Um, really good uh, pitcher, Carl Erskine. Uh, also on a 58. Uh, never owned a card of this guy either, Eddie Matthews. So in 59 tops, part of the 58 All Star selection. And never owned a card and always wanted to. Got Stan the Man Musial right here. That one's for a good price too, so. And then we got a 58 tops of Dick Farrell. I thought that was a nice looking photo. Another 57 tops. These were picked up like a month ago. Uh, Dave Sizzler. And finally, a World War II veteran who I've never gotten a response from, TTM, Wendy McCall. On a 56. So, uh, not bad. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed, and uh, hopefully I can come back to you with a TTM mail day on Monday, and hopefully two or three weeks have another collection update video for you. So, thanks again, guys, for watching. Really appreciate it. Bye.